We like taking a drive before we leave. But somewhere along the way. Yeah, I'll have to put a plug in it. Hey everybody, welcome back to our ranch adventures. Um, one thing that you really should have if you have tractors or UTVs or even vehicles on property and you're so far from town or a tire shop or anything is a good tire repair kit for a plug. Now, I picked this one up off Amazon. It's by B Tool. It's a pretty decent kit. You can get it for around $10 on Amazon. Um, it's got the plugs, got a couple extra valve stems, a valve stem tool, some grease, um, the reamer tool, and then the uh, plug putter inner tool. The plug putter inner tool. The plug putter inner tool. It does not come with a set of pliers, which you may need. As you can see, we've got a, we've got a flat tire. We actually found a nail right here. I don't know if you can see that. And we're gonna show you how to plug a tire right now. If you're off grid and you don't wanna to go to a tire shop, this is a pretty simple fix, uh, especially for this situation that we got going on right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some more air in this tire. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So just hang tight. Why, nice. why do you put air on the tire? So I'm gonna get some more air on the tire so it keeps everything beaded and set and I don't have to worry about the bead coming loose on the tire, but it'll also make it easier to ream and to put the plug in if there's still air in the tire. So I'm just doing this to make it easier for myself. So it stopped automatically when the tire had enough pressure. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is, it doesn't pump real fast, but it's, you set the pressure that you want it to go to. This tire, I just put five pounds of pressure in. Go ahead and turn this off. All right, and I'm gonna tilt this dump bed back just so you guys can see better. So as I said before, I got this kit off of Amazon by B tool, there'll be a link in the description below. It's got the reamer tool and the plug putter inner thingy and uh, some spare valve stems and a valve stem tool and then some grease. So let's pretend that I'm an idiot, <laughs> just pretending. I don't know what a reamer and what'd you say? Well, we're gonna show you what all this does. Okay, cool, cool. This is a reamer and a, pl a plug putty anything. A plug putty anything, okay. Yeah, so. What we're gonna do is we got the nail and this didn't come with a set of pliers. There's some kits out there that's got the pliers and everything. This one did not. So you can see there's the nail. I'm not sure where we picked that up at. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that nail and then I'm gonna use this reamer. And this reamer is basically just prepping the hole for the plug. So once I pull this nail out, I'll put the reamer in there and we'll ream the hole out basically with this. And then I'm going to leave this inside the tire to plug the hole while I get the plug and the plug thingy, putter in her thingy uh, ready. So we're going to go ahead and... Ooh. All right. You got reamed. So we're just kind of going to twist that in there a little bit. Let it clean the hole, the hole out. That is a pretty good size nail, but we'll fix it. So I'm going to set these aside. And the kit also comes with the plugs, which are these little things. And it comes with what, five, 10, it's like about 15 plugs. These are sticky little dudes. Let me, uh, put these down. I'm just gonna separate that off. There we go. 
Got this thing, it's got sticky all over it. So this is a plug and it's got sticky stuff. You can see it's stuck to my fingers there. It's got sticky all around it. And this is your plug putty any thingy tool. I don't know what it's called. We'll just call it a plug putty any thingy tool. And we are going to force that in between here. Like threading a needle. Like threading a needle, exactly. You want to get that where it's about in the center there. So it's going to look like that. Okay. And I didn't do this on the reamer thing and I should have, I should have put a little bit of grease, which is this stuff here. I should have put that on there. We're just going to put a little in there so that it'll penetrate through the tire easier. And I, like I said, I should have did that on the reamer. I skipped that step. That was my bad. Now the important thing about putting this in is you want to make sure that you don't go all the way through. Now this little tool right here should stop you from going all the way through. However, as you can see, it's pulled all the way back and the plug is still shorter. So I'm not sure I trust that. So you want to leave about a half inch of this out of the tire that doesn't go in. So we're going to come over here to where our reamer is. Okay. We're going to pull this out and then we're going to work this in the tire. Again, we want that to stick out about a quarter inch, half inch or so. Well. There we go. All right. I don't know if you can see that. And now I'm gonna hold this down and we're gonna pull this up. There you go. So you've got excess sticking out and that's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. The plug is in there. We can trim that off. I don't know if my pocket knife will work to do that. There we go. You can leave a little bit thick and sticking out there. It's not going to hurt anything. But there you go. That tire is repaired. Uh, should hold air now. I'll fill more or put more air in the tire so that it's pumped all the way up to what the pressure should be. Uh, but that's how you can prepare, repair a tire if you're in a fix. This is a good thing just to throw in your side-by-side -side or your tractor or whatever, just so you have it if you need it. If you were to get a hole in your tire, you could do a quick uh, field repair on it on the trail or wherever you might be. So it's a pretty handy thing. Just throw it in the glove box or in a tool kit or whatever. But I'd highly recommend you check out the link on our Amazon site and uh, pick one up and keep it in all your vehicles or on your ATV or just pack one with you if you're going to be away from uh, civilization or help. So I'm just going to use my little Ryobi battery pump here and I'm going to uh, top these tires off. Just put a little extra air in them because I lost air during the changing process. But I don't know if you can see that but that plug is holding and uh, we're doing good. No air leaks. Only putting about 11 psi in these tires right now. Um, I do need new tires. I'm afraid to run too high a pressure in them. So, and we run on a lot of dirt and trails and stuff like that. Uh, so I like to keep them a little bit softer. There you go. Quick fix on a tire. We didn't have to run to town or anything. We were able to take care of it right here at the ranch and uh, enjoy our time out here. All right, ready to go cruise and make sure it holds pressure? Yep.
All right, now that we uh, have this all patched up, we're just going to take a quick cruise on it and make sure that uh, everything is patched up and held together. I'm going to throw this in the glove box so that we got it for if we need it. So let's go for a ride. So upon visual inspection of the tire and running it a little bit, it's holding. So I think our uh, repair job worked and uh, we should be good to go for many more miles of pleasure as long as we don't uh, hit any more nails. If you like our content, please smash that like button and subscribe. And as always, go have an adventure of your own. Bye. See you next time.